for the month of April 2018. This is a general reading for Libra Sun, Libra Rising, or Libra Moon. For a more rounded overview, please watch your rising and moon sign as well. Now, the second week you have the Queen of Swords. This is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female. And this queen, you know, maybe she's just taking on a role. It's the traits that are important. This could be somebody who is distant, aloof, detached. It could be a parent who remains uninvolved. Uh, could be somebody who's divorced or widowed or separated or somebody who doesn't have children, somebody who is not focused on love. They want to focus on their career. Uh, she could be somebody who is very intellectual. She may be a professor or an educator, or uh, maybe she is very progressive. She's an idealist. She's got you know great ideas. She's got a lot of information and a lot of knowledge. And so she may be working in some kind of advisory capacity. She could be a doctor, a lawyer, a judge, a professional woman who's fighting on your behalf. She's making decisions, and this is a week about making decisions, being very perceptive and getting back to that fair judgment, making right decisions. So that's going to be a focus this week, and your communication skills are going to be very important. So somebody may be, you know, very aware of what's going on in a situation and whether it's fair. You may want more autonomy. You may be very ambitious. You want your independence. You're very determined about something. And so you may have to stand up for yourself or at least get some good counsel on how to do so. So you have greater awareness this week. Your intuitive skills are heightened, and that's going to give you the edge to make a good decision. And in fact, this is a week where perhaps there's some kind of challenge or obstacle and this queen, she's going to kick kick on inside of you and you're going to be able to get around some kind of disaster or some kind of difficult situation. And probably you're doing this at the very last moment. You're using your analytical skills in order to make these decisions. Now, negatively, this queen can be, well, I mean, let's just face it. She can be a real bitch because... You know, she can, she knows how to manipulate language to suit herself and she can uh, emasculate or castigate, be, you know, she can speak with a lot of sarcasm, a lot of bitchiness. Now, positively, she can hold her own in any kind of conversation. She knows a lot. She's got a lot of opinions and normally she knows how to put those across without rubbing people the wrong way because she's level-headed, fair. But in the negative, you know, maybe she can't make up her mind or she's not very forgiving or she's calculating, she's vindictive, she's angry. And so there's a misuse of her speech or her intellect. She's not paying attention to what's fair, the law. She could be passing out misinformation. She's very intolerant. She's complaining. She's petty. She, she doesn't have a clear perspective and she wants to get back at you for something. Because this is the warrior queen. She's either fighting for peace or she's fighting to bring you down. And so, you know, she's using that energy to either extreme. And so those could be issues this week. Do you want to make war? Do you want to, or do you want to make peace? Do you want to use diplomacy, your intuition, your analytical skills, or are you going to twist the facts for your advantage or someone else? Are you dealing with some spite or some gossip or somebody who is angry and they're using that anger uh, as a result to get over on you? Now, this is a queen who, either way, is very aware of hardship. Uh, she knows what it means to suffer, to go without. Uh, she may be dealing with illness. She may be dealing with financial issues. Uh, 
there could be emotional situations, betrayals, deceptions that she's having to get over. And so she can be aloof or detached as a learned response to negative situations because obviously she doesn't want to endure those again. Now, for some of you, she's very determined. And this means that this is a week where you're going all out to get something to go your way. And in that process, there is some miscommunication. Maybe you misrepresent yourself. Let's say you were going for a job and maybe you embellished your skills just a bit on your resume or you said you could do something that probably you don't have the skill set to do. Or you're connecting with people you know, in a mutual pity party. You've suffered, I've suffered, therefore we have a connection and it's based on past emotional disappointment. For some of you, this is about trying to get that attention from last week. You want to be the one not passed over and it's simply the challenge of getting that affection or getting that attention or getting that recognition more so than the reality of having a real relationship. So somebody could be very bold this week and they may be putting something out there, speaking in such a way where, hey, pay attention. Or there's a recognition, especially if you're trying to, you know, stave off some negative situation that you need to walk on eggshells. You need to tread lightly. Maybe you're having to make a decision to take a risk. Now, for some of you, you want to get your life in order, your routine, because you want to enjoy yourself. You've suffered some hardships, and now you want to make some decisions about your happiness, about enjoying yourself. You want to lighten up off of this Queen of Swords energy. 